up food ninjas welcome back to another video so today is going to be a very fun day and a very long day as you guys can see in the thumbnail we're going to be making a we're going to attempt to make a giant grilled cheese i don't know what it looks like yet but i'm hoping that it turns out awesome i've been wanting to make a giant grilled cheese for so long but we're going to throw a little twist on that as soon as we get done making it we're going to go ahead and layer a pizza on top of it pretty much just cheese and pepperonis on top but there should be some extra delicious, super awesome cheese pull. Cause I got some high quality cheese this time. So if done correctly, we should have a fantastic cheese pull before the feast. Today's gonna be a very long day. I've never made bread. So this is gonna be the first time me ever making, and I'm not including pizza dough because it's pizza dough. We're gonna be making standard bread and it's going to take roughly three plus hours just to make the bread alone. Right now, it's 11 o'clock, so we'll see how long today takes us. But with that said, let's go ahead and get this construction started. I'm excited, hope you guys are excited. So let's go ahead and start the process. And really quickly, just wanna give a shout out to JP and Julia, AKA Healthy Junk Food, for supplying the directions to this. I watched their video, they're good friends of mine, so I'm pretty much copying what they do, and hopefully I can do it correctly. So, firstly, we're gonna be adding yeast. We have their eight grams of yeast, which is just two packets, three tablespoons of sugar, and we have two and a half cups of warm water. We're gonna go ahead and dip that in there nice and slowly. The next ingredient we're gonna be adding is three tablespoons of lard, and then two cups of flour. However, we're gonna be adding six cups of flour total, but you wanna add two cups first, and add the remaining cups as we blend this together. Hopefully the blender holds up and let's go ahead and start this bad boy. And this is extremely, extremely sticky. Oh, look at that. Doing a little bit of kneading. All right, and our dough is done. We're gonna let this proof for one hour. I already put some oil in there and by the time we get back this bread should be over the top at least doubled plus in size damp rack and i'll see you guys in just one hour and one hour later our dough has become massive this thing is Giants, what the heck is this? So I'm pretty happy with how the dough has turned out so far. Pop that on there like so. And now we gotta divide it to two equal pieces. So I have a dough cutter right here. And we're just gonna cut this right in half. And I know grilled cheese are typically square. Unfortunately, I don't have square pans. I have rectangle pans. So it's going to be a rectangle grilled cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease the pan so the bread doesn't get stuck. Okay. I'm just gonna layer in here, spread it out so it's pretty even against the pan. So that's one pan done, and that's two pans done, and now we need to let this proof for another 30 minutes. I told you, it's gonna be a long process. 30 more minutes, and I'll see you guys after it's done proofing. A few moments later. 30 minutes later, and our dough has risen. Now we gotta bake this for 30 minutes on 375 degrees. All right, and our bread seems to be done. Oops, and two. All right guys, so we're finished with the bread and we need to let this cool down. Recommended time is like four hours, but we're gonna try to cool it down in about an hour. I'm gonna have a fan blasted on it and uh, I will see you after about another hour of waiting. So we didn't give it an hour to rest. We gave it about 30 minutes and I know you're supposed to give it a lot longer than that, but I just want to get this over with and hurry up and eat this. But the bread looks fantastic. I do have a bread knife. I want to get this as perfect as possible. We're just going to shave off the top. Now that this is cut, I have some melted butter. We're going to brush the top of the bread because we need to grill it. Perfect. 
Perfect. I am happy about the way the bread turned out. It is grilled on both sides. It is held together. There's no rips. It can't get any better for me. So now we got to construct this. Put this on the pan. The only thing I'm not too happy about is that we're using crust on the bottom. I'd rather have the crust cut off and have a clean slice of bread, but we don't have enough bread for that. And for the cheese, I chose to go with Colby because this is one of my favorite cheeses. This comes with 11 slices and we're going to neatly lay down the cheese. Ah, it's actually perfect. We want it really cheesy. All right, now we'll just put this on top. Yeah, look at how big that grilled cheese is gonna be. And now for the kicker, we're going to make a pizza on top. We're not gonna add too much of it, just enough to get some taste. And I think that looks fine to me. We have some mozzarella cheese here. And lastly, we have some salami. All right, and that is going to be it, and holy cow, I'm going to be in the bathroom all night after eating this. Now we just gotta put it in the oven until the cheese melts, and then we're ready to go. Oh right. my God, that looks so gorgeous. Oh yeah, here it is. And there we go, and what? This is crazy looking. <laughs> I am so happy with this. Now, um, I don't want to let it cool down because if I let it cool down, I'm not going to get the cheese pull I want. So I think we're going to cut it immediately. All right, so it's time to cut this and we want this cheese pull. So I'm going to cut this obviously diagonal. I like that crunch that I'm hearing. Can we get something? You cut the cheese, you know that, right? I cut the cheese. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to cut the cheese. No, you double cut it. Dang it! I know, I, I was like, why do you cut it again? Because Look at this, this would be like such a, like, look, the, the cheese is being like, yeah. Cheese pull, yeah! <clears throat> Regardless, I am super happy the way this thing turned out. That is crazy big right there. I'm happy with that. All right, guys, we're gonna get a thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this. I don't know how to take a bite of this. Very, very happy with the way it tastes, especially with the pizza on top. And these pepperonis are good. I didn't buy the cheap pepperonis, I bought the better, I bought the salami. And these ones are higher quality. These are very, it's just good. Anyways, the grilled cheese tastes amazing. And when you eat grilled cheese, you need tomato sauce. So we're gonna use this as dipping sauce and eat this. The cheese on the inside isn't 100% completely melted. If it was, I feel like if I just took a bite of it, I would get a cheese pull and I don't get that but I'm happy with everything else, taste everything. The bread looks magnificent. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this. I've not done that yet and take a better bite of this. It's good. It's great, huh? Yeah, it's really good. Especially, wow. This is really, I think this is, this might be the best thing I've ever made. Oh my God, really? Mm-hmm. For sure. Especially with the pizza on top. But the bread mm. is oh. really great. Mm. It's so like it has a nice crust, but it's so soft and moist inside. And then the tomato sauce on top and the cheese is really great. Uh, my dad used to make me grilled cheeses all the time. He called them his famous grilled cheese. But I have to say, this is the new famous grilled cheese right here. It's just yeah. Oh, and right now it's 4.30. So this took me six hours to complete this. I told you it was gonna be a long day, but I gotta say these type of videos are my favorite to make because they're a lot of fun. Also, I learn how to cook doing stuff like this. I'm a terrible cook, but you can't get better without practicing. So I use this platform as practicing. Okay. And whatever brand of tomato soup that I got. This tomato soup is fire. <laughs> 
finished with half of the pizza grilled cheese. Fantastic. I loved every bit of it. And it goes down smoothly. I thought it was going to be more difficult to eat, but it's actually, it's actually really easy. The bread is pretty light and fluffy. The crust is crunchy, but that's to be expected because I grilled it. And I just gotta give another shout out to Healthy Junk Food because the pizza on top of the grilled cheese, also they did in a pretty old video, they just didn't do it on their giant grilled cheese. I'll leave a link in the description. Also the instructions that they gave me to make this, I'll leave that in the description for you guys as well. If you guys decide that you wanna attempt to make this magnificent, beautiful, delicious, amazing, stupendous, exciting, excellent triumph of a grilled cheese. It'll be there. I suggest you guys check them out if you guys don't know who they are, but I'm sure most of you guys know who Healthy Junk Food is. Come on. And we're almost done. Now, one part of the sandwich that is kind of hurting my mouth, it's kind of cutting it up. Not cutting up, but it's getting a little rough. When you're eating a massive sandwich, you might want to go crust off. The crust is pretty good. It's just that eating a large amount of crispy crust kind of hurts your mouth after a while. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this crust off so it's easier to eat. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of this amazing, delicious, wonderful, Grilled cheese pizza. Best creation I've ever made on this channel, hands down. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video and I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys have any suggestions on giant creations I should make, leave them in the comment section or follow me on Instagram and leave them in the comment section there because I read the comment section in IG more than I do in YouTube. So if you did enjoy this video, do me a favor and smack that like button. It really does help the channel. I hope you guys are all safe out there in the world and I will see you in the next video. Peace.